In this video, we want to talk about Sienna Corporations. They reported earnings. They delivered strong results with revenue and earnings exceeding expectations. Now, the company is benefiting from strong demand in its network solutions, particularly in the 5G and data center markets. Sienna's focus on operational efficiency and cost reduction measures contributed to improved efficiencies and profitability. And the company's optimistic about the future as they do anticipate increased demand for high-speed network solutions. We're going to start with the monthly chart. And as you can see, we had this roundabout, what we're going to call accumulation, which took several years, as we are now finally getting a breakout to the upside. We did have resistance, multi year resistance near that $60 level again round whole psychological number until we are now and finally got a breakout my eyes are gravitating to these uh, wicks on the bodies so we're going to drill down to the weekly chart not the prettiest but you do have this ugly looking end pattern typically prices pull back to the trough before moving lower so this is a bearish reversal pattern something to note for future reference you also have a flip zone this was a rally Basin candles in the rally out, so that was actually a weekly buy level, which became a flip zone, which became a weekly sell level. Again, kind of taking it back out. This was re resistance, multi year resistance, until we finally got the breakout. Now my eyes are gravitating to this gap. That's an extended range green candle. And so let's scroll down to the daily chart. To see if we can find a level of interest worth going long. I'm looking at the volume bars at the bottom. I do see momentum waning so you ha have divergence yes you made a higher high but your RSI made a lower low so the only and best level that I see potentially taking it's going to be near the $58 level why well you do have resistance now support you do have this doji with a long wick on the lower portion of the body pointing down to where the real buyers are at and then you do have this rally base rally I do want to note this other daily buy level and so if we've just combined the two levels let's just call that daily buyers at $57. So here's the setup. I'm just going to go up to the weekly chart. The charts are suggesting one get long on a pullback sub 60 with your next target coming in near that 
$75 level. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.